Good Minutes with the Watts Brothers. Double Take Sports Talk. Uh, today we are going to uh, take a look at the preview for the final preseason week four of NFL action. Uh, we'll talk about that and our, our predictions coming up next. Five good minutes with the Watts Brothers Double Turn Sports Talk. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Darren Watts here on the other side of me. Say hello to Darren Watts on the other side of me. Alright. What's going on? Alright. Well, today we got a preview of week four action and last night's one game. Um, Last night's game. Uh, between Washington and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I forgot about that team. Wow. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh yes, I forgot all about them. Ouch. Back right into that one. I forgot all about them. Uh, we'll talk about that preview and uh, and who won and and a couple games prediction for uh, tonight's games. Uh, you ready to do this? Let's rock it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our five minutes starts now. Uh, on the plate from last night, we had the Washington Redskins and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who won that game last night? Um, unfortunately, Washington Redskins uh, took a 20-13 win last night. And um, Tampa Bay. Um, and I find it funny that Jameis Winston didn't play at all. Maybe they're saving, them. they're probably saving them for the season. Yeah, probably saving them for the season. But um, Ryan Griffin was the uh, top dog and uh, taking the snaps. Uh, he finished with 190 yards and one touchdown and one pick. He was 23 for 38. Um, as of for uh, the rushing part of that, uh, Peyton Barber was the top man on that one. 16 carries for 44 yards. He didn't have any touchdowns that game, of course. Um, and Freddie Martino was the top man for receiving. He had six receptions for 65 yards, and his longest was the 18. So, um, that was for the Tampa Bay side of the, uh, just a quick sneak peek, of course. If you want to look at other box scores and stuff like that, you go to any sports website, check that out. Um, for the Washington side, uh, Nate uh, Sudfield was the top man, 8 for 18, 72 yards, and one touchdown. No picks also. And Mac Brown was the top man with 19 carries to 149 yards and one touchdown. Did Jameis James Witherston play any preseason games at all to, to your he, knowledge? Uh, I have no clue, Darren. I have no clue. Oh, and if he did, he probably didn't play much. Okay, because here's my thing. Tom Brady has played more preseason snaps than he has in his entire career. Considering that the, yeah, considering that the suspension is coming up for him. Do he to. need to play more games, preseason games? Winston? No. Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Uh if he wants to well, he don't seem like he's losing tip for tap or anything. And when he gets suspended, he can't do anything. Not a thing. Except go to Michigan and be the honorary captain. Exactly. Exactly. You can't do anything outside the NFL. Well, inside I, the NFL. I have a problem with Tom Brady playing this many snaps. What happened to Jimmy Garoppolo? He's going to need to be able to step in and get used to some of the things that's going on. Previews. That's exactly why I say the New England Patriots is not going to win the AFC title. Period. Because they're not smart when it comes down to backup resort. So now, just because he struggled, now they put Brady in more snaps. What kind of business is that? I don't like it. Because now you're playing him for four preseason games. He's going to be gone for four preseason. I mean, for four season games. While you got Jim Garoppolo just sitting there, just with a thumb up his butt, trying to figure out how am I going to figure out defenses if I'm not playing in the game. Yeah. 
I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy. But there should be no reason why the Tom Brady started more preseason snaps than Jimmy Garoppolo if he's going to be playing more of the, the chunk of the games. The first four season games to me are the most important ones to uh, to start step your um, division race. Yep, I agree. I agree. But then again, I'm just sitting here, and that's the reason why we are on a on a very low profile. Yeah, that's true too. But who you got? for your prediction-wise in some of these games that you got? Uh, New England, unfortunately, I'm going to believe that New England going to win that game tonight. Mm-hmm. And then looking at Dallas and Houston, I believe that Dallas going to go ahead and pull that game off tonight, too. And then looking at Coats and uh, Bengals, the Bengals are going to pull that game off tonight. What about L.A. and Minnesota? Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota? Yep. Yeah. Although Teddy Bridgewater's gone, I believe that this is a good test for Minnesota. So mm-hmm. I, I believe that Minnesota's going to pull this and out. And they have to move forward. Right. I believe they will pull this off, and I believe that Minnesota will win the game. And Green Bay, Kansas City, I got Green Bay. I got Green Bay, too. I got Green Bay. I got Green Bay. Although, excuse me, although most of the big stars are not playing, playing. I yeah. still got Green Bay. Still got Green Bay. I still um, got New England. Seattle and Oakland? I got Seattle. Sorry. I yeah, Seattle and Oakland. I got Seattle. Yeah, I got Seattle. What about San Francisco, San Diego? Uh, San Francisco. I got San Diego. I got San Francisco for that game. Wow. I got San Francisco. Still undefeated teams left, so. Just three. I mean, just two. Nope. Uh, Houston, Green Bay, and New England. That's and three. And Philadelphia. And Philadelphia. That's three. So. Then you got winless teams, too, so. Arizona being one of them. Ouch. Don't let that discourage you, Arizona never, fans. Never, 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 never. Arizona never, fans, never, do not, do not, not let that, that discourage, discourage you. you. Never. That's never. just preseason that with is rookie fluke. players. Yes, do not let that fool you. I don't even think Bruce Arias is coaching. I think they got the video coordinator coaching these games. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our five minutes making a listen to the show. All right. Uh, you can check us out on the social media side and listen to more of our podcast. You can follow us on Twitter at DTST2414. You can like us on Facebook, Don't Take Sports Talk page at The Watch Brothers. Subscribe on YouTube and also subscribe to our podcast on the podcast app featuring iTunes. Of course, I have a new blog featuring critical thinking and analysis. You can check that out at Don't Take Sports Talk. Blogspot.com. Video coordinator, I love that. Yeah, video coordinator. Another Frank Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, from Derek, that's Derek on the other side of the catch up with us on another episode. Until then, ciao.